if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily notes of inspiration, the juice. It is August the 19th, 2023, and today the topic is sharing is caring. <laughs> Happy Saturday, y'all. Happy Saturday. I hope that you all had a fabulous Friday. Mine was just fine. Thank you to those of you all that tuned in to the GSL talk show last night. Y'all know that we had Miss DJ Robinson uh, talking about her app and her journey and things of that nature. Even her podcast, Playing for Keeps. Um, listen, man, if I was still out here on the market, you know what I mean? I think I definitely would be checking out her ha- her app. <laughs> so I hope that you all um do so as well y'all know i have a heart for my single peoples so anything that's gonna you know encourage and inspire your walk um and to do things in a way that's decent and in order you know i'm always gonna try to uh co-sign and let y'all know about y'all know we got things cooking around here for gsl for y'all as well but until things like that you know get established um i'm grateful that there are people out here creating resources to you know, assist with this whole dating and singleness journey um, and everything like that. There's a lot of things out here now that just was not available back during my cultivation period. All right. So if y'all didn't see that episode, y'all can go to GodSexAndLove.com. It should be our feature video. Learn more about Miss DJ Robinson and her amazing app, y'all, Playing for Keeps. Now, this conversation this morning, sharing is caring. Well, um, to be honest, y'all, y'all know I'm recording a little bit late today. Um, you know, those that make watch this live, you know, it's like after seven. Um, when I woke up this morning, I think I woke up around five or something like that. So I must have missed my alarms. The Lord woke me up around like five. And, um, when I did get up, I kind of was, you know, perusing, checking up on stuff I missed, X, Y, and Z. But then, um... At some point, it's like I I got on Instagram, and the more I scrolled, the more I saw good content. And so usually when I see something that's encouraging or inspiring or whatever, I would just automatically share it um, to either GSL or my personal page or maybe to my um, women's group. Like, you know, depending on what the content is, I'll share it on whatever platform it goes with. So I was seeing a lot of content that was GSL related, you know. Um, so if anybody was following our page this morning, or maybe y'all got a lot of notifications from the GSL page showing that this just got posted, this got just got shared, this just got posted. And the interesting thing is I probably still would be doing it because I was trying to wait and see, like, is this going to stop? But no, it seemed like I would scroll, scroll, see something good, scroll, scroll, see something good, scroll, scroll, see something good. And it just kept going where I was like all right, I need to stop and finally listen to the prayer meditation for today, you know? Um, and so that's what I eventually ended up doing. Unfortunately, I don't really remember the prayer meditation. I guess I must have been distracted. But um, after that, you know, um, I'm kind of doing the same thing. I was also getting some downloads for some ideas and things like that. Y'all know that, you know, with me uh, being, you know, the elementary coordinator at the church and whatnot, um, and they know that I, I guess, you know, about my skills of, of uh, theater and things of that nature. Um, they asked me to portray my character at an upcoming event, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. And so some ideas about like what I want to do with that kind of was coming in, it's coming to my heart and mind this morning, just alongside of a lot of things. Right. Um, but at some point I was like, I need to settle my heart and mind and see what the Lord want me to talk about today. And soon as I did that, y'all, this concept sharing is caring. 
came into my heart and mind and it resonated, I guess, for a lot of reasons. I mean, partially, maybe because of the journey I went through with sharing the post. Um, also, um, I do feel led to share with you guys a little bit more information, so I'll share that in a second. But I'm trying to think, is there anything else outside of that um, that leads to this conversation? Um, I think I might have saw a post um, recently that was talking about, you know, you don't want to be... Uh, you know, in God's presence and he shows you all the people that you were supposed to affect by your testimony or sharing the gospel, whatever the case is. And, and you try to give him the excuse that, you know, um, when you was, you know, ashamed or embarrassed or didn't want to ruffle any feathers or whatever the case is, like whatever excuses that we use to not share the gospel or share uh, our testimonies. Right. And so, um, and I feel a little bit convicted by this concept because, you know, I've been completely honest with y'all that that's something I struggle with. And ma the main thing <laughs> that, that I still, I guess, find to be an issue with me sharing, um, you know, at all times is that, um, you know, again, that God gives us free will. You know, at the end of the day, I'm like, Lord, you know, again, people... It seems like people have made their decisions regarding you. And it was interesting because I didn't get a chance to tell y'all yesterday. But the day before yesterday, um, I ended up listening to a few of the first few episodes of GSL, um, of the uh, the Juice. And I was listening to myself tell you all like three years ago that same thing. <laughs> like the, the fact that I was struggling with sharing um, and I feel like I've gotten a little bit better now by doing this, right? But there's still something in me that's struggling with sharing to friends, right? Struggling with sharing to family or people that, for example, you may see them struggling or you may see them, you know, going back and forth when it comes to faith and things of that nature, uh, maybe not living according to, you know, what the word says. And I struggle, right, with sharing uh, with people because well one I know that you know just because I can see something and want something for someone doesn't mean that they're ready right and then at the same time you know it, sometimes it takes a while I've been completely honest about my journey as well that you know it took me a while to get here you know it took me a while to get to this place of being content it took me a while to get to this place of trusting God fully it took me a while to get to this place of you know all the different things that are going on in my life right now and so Knowing all of this, I'm like, well, Lord, you know, obviously, I, you know, every now and then I might see windows of opportunity. I've had some conversations here and there, but um, I don't know. For whatever reason, there's still a slight struggle with, you know, um, I guess, approaching people with the controversial topics. You know what I mean? Those hot button things that people take issue with. When it comes to the Bible, obviously one of those huge things is LGBT, um, you know, even promiscuity or uh, infidelity or maybe just being outside of the will of God in any way. Right. And and then because at the end of the day, it's like, well, who am I right to tell somebody else? Because at the end of the day, you know, I've sinned and fallen short as well. You know, I'm not perfect and everything like that. And so those type of thoughts and ideas, I feel like they uh, silence us, right? Um, we don't want to be counseled. We don't want to be uh, make people feel like they're not loved. We don't want to, you know, offend nobody and all that type of stuff. And and I get it. You know what I mean? I'm sitting here telling y'all now that I'm still struggling as well with with you know exactly how to do uh god's will and share the great commission and share the gospel and, and, and all those things but on the flip side i believe uh what i'm receiving overall is it's more important for us to do the will of god share the truth and love than to um enable someone to continue in sin in any capacity right and not just talking about the hot button stuff but it could be you know again just it just allowing people and here's the thing I'm not say allowing um because I was th I was thinking about allowing when it comes to like my child like that that's a great example um I think that most people understand like our kids they want to do whatever they want to do right and they might not fully understand why um they need to do whatever we're telling them to do. I think eating is one of those big things. My son will wake up um in the morning talking about eating chips 
uh, ice cream and all of that type of stuff. Now, if I was to allow him to do that, right, every day of his life, every time he asked for it, everything like that, would I be a good parent? Would I really love him? Would I really care about him and his well-being if that's what I allowed him to do? Now, granted, I'm not everybody's parent, you know what I mean? And so some, and I think I talked to you all about this in the past as well, like you got to have that type of rapport or relationship or whatever the case is to address certain things, right? Um, I guess when it comes to personal, um, you know, relationships with people and things of that nature, um, which is, I guess, again, why we need to be fellowshipping and things of that nature, not like secluding ourselves and staying alone and then allowing, again, sin to run rampant um, on earth by doing that. So, I mean, I think all of the things play a part in this, but today the focus is on the idea of sharing and understanding that it is caring to share. Um, again, share the gospel, share what God has done for us, share, yes, our testimony, uh, the Great Commission, everything of that nature. Um, when it comes to the things of Christ, it's important for us to share. Um, I think people, again, they struggle with this, right? Because then... You know, uh, I've seen plenty of those conversations. Again, I shout out to, you know, like Pastor David Lynn, people that are on the front lines out there. You know, maybe they're on the bullhorn sharing in public, um, things of that nature. And people are like, why are you out here? And things like that. And, you know, I think the Bible is clear. It gives is a clear reason why we're out there. You know, I mean, I think anybody would probably want to just lounge and, and, you know, key things to themselves, but when the Bible is telling us to share our testimony and to, you know, share the gospel and things of that nature, that's why you see what you see. That's why you see the billboards. That's why you see people sharing in these variety of ways. Um, so on one hand, I'm like, I mean, obviously it, it seems to me that if anyone's confused about that, then they are probably not reading the Bible or understanding it or things of that nature. Um, so that's one thing that's, we, we are commanded to share, um, you know, that's the simple answer, but why you see, you know, me getting up and doing the juice and, and any other Christian sharing in any capacity, we are commanded to share. Y'all can go deeper about that. Um, I put it in a go deeper section about the great commission. Um, but let me just share it right now, just in case you guys want to go and look it up. Matthew 28, 16 through 20, check that out. And that should help, hopefully help you understand why you see Christian sharing in any regard. Um, but I mean, for those of us that are struggling with sharing and, and this, this personal idea again of sharing with the people in our lives and things of that nature, then I hope that these verses that I came across this morning will encourage you and inspire you to get on it, friends. Cause at the end of the day, if you truly love someone then you will give them the truth and love, um, I guess I feel led to share this right. Another thing that I observed over the, over the past few days, and then I'll get into the verses. So, um, I came across this video. I think it might have been yesterday, and it was of a um. They they said an ex trans individual, and the person was just you could see the emotion in their eyes. You could hear it in their voice. Um, and I believe again that I shared it on our, on our uh, page. So you guys can just scroll on God, sex and love and, and check it out and see, but I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people that you can just Google and see this testimony or whatever. But basically the individual was saying that, um, or, or just basically pleading to parents to say that, you know, it's not good for you to a enable these thoughts and, and whatnot. Like it's better for you to, you know, uh, Man, I can't even, I, I can't even say everything that, I mean, you know, and I can't, and not say I can't say it, it's just, I don't want to get it wrong. So I'd rather y'all just go and listen to the testimonies from, like they say, the horse's mouth or whatever the case is, like directly from that individual. Because again, like hearing the pleading in, in their voice and seeing it in their eyes and knowing that at the end of the day, um, that all they needed was someone to guide them in the right direction when they were that that vulnerable or, um, early age, whatever the case was, um, it's just something that just can't be faked or like um, I can't even probably reiterate it the way it needs to be reiterated. But this is the same when it comes to just again any sin, y'all. Like people may need to just hear that testimony. Like I show I share with you guys um, 
I want to say last weekend around this time, um, I told you all that, you know, I give Christian advice and I had someone hit me up for advice. Again, I won't get too deep into it and I'm definitely won't share the person's name or anything like that. And I don't know the individual personally that I know of. Um, basically this person reached out and they asked me for feedback or about, you know, some thoughts that they were having and some things that they were tempted with and things of that nature. And yeah, obviously I sought the Lord and was, you know, and sent them the best biblical uh, advice that I could and, you know, encouragement and things of that nature. And the individual said in their review that that's what they needed to hear. You see what I'm saying? Like, so at the end of the day, this is how powerful our testimony is and can be. Like sometimes people just need to hear it reiterated or, or hear the testimony or hear, uh, the right things right versus just again or the truth in love right rather than um anything else and so i think this is why the enemy tries to silence us and to keep us holding things in and not sharing um because it's it this is a powerful life-changing thing let's just say the individual let's say i ignored the individual or let's just say the individual never even sought out uh, biblical advice or things like that and they just went on and did what they were considering to do like it definitely would have been a life-changing um situation like for uh the individual the family uh it just it, it, everybody involved you know what i mean and so it's just one of those things where um, you may have or know something right that the other person needs to hear and you're holding it to yourself when you need to be sharing. So let's get into these verses, y'all. Daniel 4 and 2. It says, It has seemed good to me to show the signs and wonders that the Most High God has done for me. This is good, y'all. Um, this is a good thing to do. Um, at the end of the day, uh, it, it's a beautiful thing when God does something for you and you're like, man, this is great. He did it for me, X, Y, and Z. But when you share that thing, it just goes again beyond and it just blesses the next person. Um, matter of fact, uh, here's another example of that. Um, I was listening to a, uh, I think it was like a Q&A session that Frank Turret was doing sometime this week. And um, basically he was sharing the test. He was sharing what had happened at a event that he was at. And um, then he said that one of the individuals, someone else, um, in the audience raised their hands and um, shared their testimony. And not only did obviously the person uh, or all the people there hear the testimony, right? But he all, but Frank Tour was moved by it so much that he shared the testimony in his book. So now anybody that's reading the book has now heard the testimony. And then he was sharing it obviously somewhere else. So now that anybody watches the video like me, and and is it's now sharing the testimony. And even though I didn't necessarily share what the testimony was, I'm sitting here today sharing that Frank Turek shared a testimony of an individual that shared a testimony at a convention that he did however many years ago that he also wanted. It's just this is how it goes and flows, y'all. At the end of the day, if you keep it to yourself, then um, you know, again, it's good for you, right? But it's more powerful to share, again, what God has done, the signs and wonders and things of that nature, um, because, again, it's it can be encouraging, inspiring to the next person, and you never know how that thing will influence them in their life. First Chronicles 16 and 8, it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Or it says the people's. But I think what stand out to me the most in this verse is the part that says, make known his deeds among the peoples. Um, you know, at the end of the day, again, I'm just being encouraged and inspired that we need to make it known. Um, whatever our concerns or fears or whatever the case may be when it comes to sharing, again, the gospel, your testimony, whatever the Lord is leading you to share, that post that you saw that was encouraging, inspiring to you, you never know. Like a lot of times when I share different posts and whatnot, um, every now and then I'll get a message from someone that says, I needed to hear that. Thank you for sharing that. And, and that's the thing. Like At the end of the day, 
Like, you never know, y'all. You never know, like, what someone needs to hear or see. Um, and, again, I'm just reiterating this whole thing about the power of sharing, y'all. Um, the enemy is trying to block us from doing it, trying to talk about being counseled, trying to talk about, you know, even even to the point of death, y'all. And, you know, about even sharing any aspect of uh, biblical wisdom and love and truth. But at the end of the day, um, I think most of us that are believers, we know how transformative the word of God is. And you, we can see how we needed it. Right. And so it's important to understand that everybody needs it. And. Um, and yeah, like just do your part, whatever the Lord is leading you to do. It might not be being on the bullhorn. It might just be, again, sharing the social media post or texting someone, hey, how you doing? And if they share with you whatever they, their issue is, then, you know, um, obviously listen and things of that nature. But if you can relate to it, you know, it might be hoove you to go ahead and just share your testimony with I've been through that friend and guess what the Lord this is what the Lord has done for me and so the people can be encouraged and inspired uh again by the power of our testimony let me keep going we got Mark 5 and 19 it says and he did not permit him but he said but said to him go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. Um, I, I was wanting to go deeper about that just to confirm that this was the section that I, I think it is, and I didn't do that. So y'all can go and confirm and go read Mark, you know, 5 and 19 and read the verses around it for yourself to make sure that I'm saying this right. But I believe that this is the account of uh, perhaps I think it was like one of the men that he healed or one of the men maybe he removed demons from or something like that, and the individual wanted to come with him. Or I maybe like be a disciple or follow him and things like that. And he said, you know, basically he sent him home, um, as he said in this verse that I just read. Um, sometimes, again, it's important for us to, you know, not saying it's not important for us to follow God or whatever, whatever but what I'm saying is, you know, according to this situation, it seemed to me what I'm receiving here is that it was more important for him to go back home and share the testimony than to follow Christ. And, and in regards to follow, just following him around and things of that nature. Um, so again, like this is just another thing that reiterates the power of our testimony and, um, you know, what we're commissioned to do. We got Psalm five, um, excuse me, Psalms one Oh seven and two. It says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble. Friends, again, if God has done anything for you, say it, share it, let people know. Because at the end of the day, I know people look at some things as bragging and stuff. And I mean, you know, obviously, you know, use your discernment and things of that nature. Seek the Lord about how to do it, everything like that. Um but every now and then, again, it's just important for us to share. So, again, if you've been redeemed by the Lord, then say so. Um, you know, I know I, that song might be in your head like it's in my head right now. And I, and I know I enjoyed that as well. But, it, you know, it's just very important, y'all, uh, to share our testimonies and, again, to share the gospel more, than, more so than anything. Because, um, again, people are thinking or believing that, for example, miracles and things aren't for today though no, that's just something that happened in the bible or if it happened at all or whatever the case is right that that's the mindset of the majority uh at least what you see in here um but if we're out here sharing our testimonies at the end of the day that's something that nobody can take away because you know what god has done for you i can sit here and share all day my testimony and i can sit here and tell y'all about the times i was crying in my apartment and i was alone and yelling up at god and all of that and I can tell y'all that I'm in a totally different place today. And, and and nobody can take that testimony away from me at the end of the day. Like, I I know I was there and I went through it, you know. And I think, again, this is why um, we go through certain things, you know. Because, again, um, we know that testimonies are powerful. I mean, they, they still hold up in court and say all of that. And, yeah, people can lie and embellish and all that type of stuff, too. And, you know, you can, again, you can use your discernment and take, you know, take things with a grain of salt, X, Y, and Z. But 
you know, I believe that you can truly, you can truly know when someone's being honest about, you know, their, again, their testimony or whatever the Lord has done for them. Um, so just keep it on heart and mind. Again, if you are, have been redeemed or if God has done anything for you, say it, friends. Um, second Timothy, do not, uh, second Timothy, I forgot to write it down. Um, it's in the show notes though. I think it was like, I can't remember the verse right now, but it it is written in the show notes. Um, do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord, nor of we his prisoners, but share in suffering for the gospel, for the power of God. <laughs> My apologies, (laughs) y'all. Bless me, you know. Um, But yeah, y'all can again go see where that verse is, that exact numbers is. But yeah, let's not be ashamed, right? Let's not be ashamed of what our testimony is or what God has done for us and things of that nature. Um, You know, um, it reminds me of one of my guests that I had the other day. And um, while we, before we started recording, uh, the individual was sharing with me like, oh, you know, Oh, this, well, we kind of talked about the concept of GSL, um, and then, um, the individual was sharing that they kind of struggle with the idea of sharing their testimony, X, Y, and Z, oh, it's kind of embarrassing, X, Y, and Z. It's like, nah, man, at the end of the day, you know, whatever it is, you know, give the glory and the honor to the Lord. At the end of the day, again, if you've been redeemed, say so, like, don't be embarrassed of the testimony because at the end of the day, we all have sinned and fallen short. So none of us can look down on nobody at the end of the day. So whatever your your thing that you went through and struggled with, yeah, it might be embarrassing. But guess what? If you're on the other side, that's an even huger testimony for you. So, um, you know, just think about that, y'all. Just think about, again, what God has done for you, where he's brought you from. And, and don't get discouraged and, and ashamed of what God is doing uh let me see i think i got one more verse y'all uh yeah matthew 10 and 32 so everyone who acknowledges me before men i also will acknowledge before my father who is in heaven listen you do not want to get there on judgment day (laughs) and be like and i'm not not laughing and i'm sorry i mean not mean to laugh because it's very serious um you don't want to get in front of god on judgment day and he said, I never knew you. Like, I, I just, I, yeah, I mean, and I know I talked about this the other day. I've seen this recently where they talk about the whole idea or concept of those that believe that they're in Christ. And then we like are like, we did all of this in your name. And he still is like, I never knew you based on the way, like, whatever, they, I guess, was in their heart or how they live, whatever the case is. That's a whole nother conversation. But let's just talk about the acknowledgement before men part, y'all. Like, we can't be discouraged to uh or embarrassed or or let anything shake us from um sharing what again our testimony and the gospel at the end of the day um if we hold back and not acknowledge god he's saying that he's not going to excuse me acknowledge christ then he's not going to acknowledge us before you know his father and so um you know it's just something to think about you know something to just keep into your heart and minds y'all when it comes to this, I mean, again, I hope that this helps us all understand that sharing is caring. And I mean, this is ultimately the juice, y'all. This is the juice this morning. My mom says, good morning, sister. Okay, you own it today. Well, to God be the glory. I'm glad that, you know, it's resonating and everything like that. I mean, there's plenty more verses in the Go Deeper section to let marinate on your heart, souls, and minds. But like I said, y'all, that's the juice. Now, the Bible verse of today is Romans 8 and 6. It says, for B... For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all on Monday, if the Lord is will. Bye-bye. All right, now God, sex and love. Keep on spreading this morning inspiration. I love what you're doing. All right.